Hello everyone and thank you for watching. Today I'm going to talk about the Egyptian Armed Forces. The Egyptian Armed Forces are the state military organization that's responsible for the defense of Egypt. They consist of the Egyptian Army, the Egyptian Navy, Egyptian Air Force, and Egyptian Air Defense Forces. The armament of the Egyptian Armed Forces varies between Eastern and Western sources through weapons deliveries by several countries, led by the United States, Russia, France, China, Italy, Ukraine, and Britain. Much of the equipment is manufactured locally at Egyptian factories. The Egyptian Armed Forces celebrates their anniversary on October 6th of each year in order to commemorate the crossing of the Suez during the October War of 1973. The Egyptian Army is the largest service branch within its armed forces. The modern army was established during the reign of Muhammad Ali Pasha, widely considered to be the founder of modern Egypt. Its most significant engagements in the 20th century were in Egypt's five wars with the State of Israel, one of which, the Suez Crisis of 1956, also saw it do some combat with the armies of Britain and France. The Egyptian army was also engaged heavily in the protracted North Yemen Civil War and the brief Libyan-Egyptian War in July of 1977. Its last major engagement would be Operation Desert Storm, the liberation of Kuwait from Iraqi occupation in 1991, in which the Egyptian army constituted the second largest contingent of the Allied forces. When it comes to military expenditures, it has a budget of $7.85 billion, with a 2.4% GDP. As far as manpower, it features 438,500 active personnel, 479,000 reserves, and 41,200,000 available. In land, it has 3,044 tanks with 11,454 AFVs, a 4,000 artillery, 889 self-propelled guns, and 1,322 rocket artillery. to the Navy. Its Egyptian Navy is also known as the Egyptian Naval Force and is the maritime branch of the Egyptian Armed Forces. It's the largest navy in the Middle East and Africa and is the sixth largest in the world measured by its number of vessels. The Navy's mission includes protection of more than 2,000 kilometers of coastline of the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea, along with defensive approaches to the Suez Canal and support for army operations. The majority of the modern Egyptian Navy would be created with the help of the Soviet Union in the 1960s. It features a total naval armament of 128 with two aircraft carriers, four corvettes, nine frigates, and eight submarines.
Egyptian Air Force is the aviation branch of the Egyptian Armed Forces, responsible for all airborne defense missions and operates all military aircraft, including those used in support of the Egyptian Army, Navy, and Egyptian Air Defense Forces. The latter was created as a separate command in the 1970s and coordinates with the Air Force to integrate air and ground-based air defense operations. The Force's motto is higher and higher for the sake of glory. The Air Forces feature a total aircraft of 1,373, which includes 113 fighters, 252 multi-role aircraft, 121 attack aircraft, and 306 helicopters. The Egyptian Air Defense Forces is the anti-aircraft warfare branch of the Egyptian Armed Forces, responsible for protecting the Egyptian airspace against any hostile air attacks. The EADF Egyptian Air Defense Forces would be established in accordance with the presidential decree that was issued on February 1st of 1968, providing for the establishment of the Air Defense Forces as the fourth branch next to the Navy, the Ground Forces, and the Egyptian Air Force, formerly part of the artillery and under the operation command of the Air Force. Egypt has a modern system of air defense armament characterized by diverse sources between east and west, which is divided between anti-aircraft missiles, long, medium, and short-range anti-aircraft artillery systems, and early warning radars. Before the June 1967 war, the Army would divide its personnel into four regional commands, Suez, Sinai, Nile Delta, and Nile Valley up to the Sudan. The remainder of Egypt's territory, over 75%, would be the sole responsibility of the Frontier Corps. In May of 1967, President Nasser closed the Straits of Tehran to passage of Israeli ships. Israel considered the closure of the Straits grounds for war and then prepared their armed forces to attack. On June 3rd, three battalions of Egyptian commandos would be flown to Amman to take part in operations from Jordan. But U.S. historian Trevor Dupi, writing in 1978, argues from King Hussein of Jordan's memoirs that Nasser did not intend to start an immediate war, but instead was happy with his rhetorical and political accomplishments of the past weeks. Nevertheless, Israel felt that it needed to take action. After the war would begin on June the 5th of 1967, Israel attacked Egypt, destroying its air force on the ground and occupying the Sinai Peninsula. This forward deployment with Egyptian forces would shatter in three places by attacking Israelis. Field Marshal Amir, overwhelmed by events and ignoring previous plans, ordered a retreat by the Egyptian army to the Suez Canal, and this developed into a rout as the Israelis harried the troops who were retreating from the ground and from the air. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you thought about this powerful army and their accomplishments and write your comments below. Also be sure to subscribe and turn on that bell so I can bring you more great videos like this one in the future. See you next time.